You know, uh, an interesting thing I've seen, and, and you can get into this as much as you want, but I've seen, um, usually before I interview somebody, I, I post a picture and ask people to send questions. Somebody was asking, ask uh, J.Geek about, I guess that neighborhood used to be YG or something like that, like back <laughs> in the days. I don't know. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, you see how in Chicago? Yeah. They always GD. Like, it was no such thing as BD. Gotcha. They always, like, that's how it was for the gunners, bro. Like, everybody was gunning, bro. Everybody yeah. was gunning before, bro. You know, it's funny you say that, because when I be watching Spike Tarantino, it's a and lot you of... Watch Spike, <laughs> like, I watch Spike right now. And you watch the shit with my hood. You see niggas throwing up 1090, the next nigga throwing up YG. Like, yeah. It's crazy, bro. Like, yeah. I don't uh, know, like... I ain't gonna lie to you, I would never lie to you, bro. Like, yeah. I was not focused into the YG and 1090 shit. I just yeah. knew my niggas, my general my niggas, oh, they not know. My niggas was not know, feel me? Like, yeah. I wasn't really, like, you feel me? I wasn't really focused on the YG niggas and shit. Like, gotcha, gotcha. When, to, to you growing up, like, when did things change to where it was like, all right, it go from YG, now everybody YG, K. Okay? Like, when when did you start seeing, oh, oh, there's a shift coming right now? I ain't gonna now. lie, I give niggas their credit, you heard? I give niggas their credit. I feel like that. Do you think nigga brought that shit back for them? The YG was dead. Like, yeah. YG was dead. Like, that shit was. Like, yeah, catch one project jacking YG. Like, now yeah. you see a lot of more niggas YG. A lot of more niggas will be more comfortable jacking it because yeah. it's rappers that's for me making it look good and shit. For me? So, for yeah. me. That happens, like, whatever. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying more like, when did you see the shift? Like, I guess, uh, when did it go from, I right, we YG, now we. Eh, we not. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't see that shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't see that shit, bro. Okay, like, okay, okay, okay. I okay, wasn't gotcha. worried about that, bro. What am I gotcha. I ain't see that shit. Like, when I was young, I ain't gonna lie. I used to be around blood niggas, too. Like, why a lot of blood niggas? Yeah. When I was young, though, like... Okay, okay. Niggas know what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna lie, like... Why blood niggas, for me? And that shit's swift. Now I'm around wild lokes, for me? Yeah. Like, it's like, I didn't see... Even, you know what's crazy? Something I heard, but I don't... I heard OG Mac is from the neighborhood. OG Mac? Oh, is it? Is it? Where's his Who name? that? OG Mac or some? Hold on. <laughs> Who that? Me, hold on. OG Mac. Oh, the way old the dude. The dude. I think, give me a second. Oh, well, yeah. I don't even know if these things are true, but they just be sending nah, me. Yeah, I'm gonna confirm it for you right now. I'm gonna confirm. I it. Bet. A lot of bet. niggas you got up here be lying too, you heard? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna confirm. Say, I'm gonna tell the truth, yo. Niggas be capping. Yeah, bro. OG Mac, Omar Portier. Who that? He, he, he from my block. He, they saying he's from 180, 183rd. He bought, um... But it's like, it's wild 183rd, my heart. Like, it's wild 183rd. Okay, okay. That, that shit don't say Raya, it's over. It's wild 183rd, though, my heart. Yeah, but uh, according to what I've seen, it's like he came from Cali with, with, with the whole blood thing, brought it out oh, to the Bronx. Man. Yeah. And, um... Talking about Crib Mac? Nah, 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 nah. And then I guess at some point it just turned crib. You know what I'm saying? Like the area. Nah, yeah, I don't really know about all that. I okay, okay, lie. all right, bet, bet, bet. That's all good. But um, let's talk about growing up uh, and getting into the music. You know, I want to know who were you listening to? Who are some of the people that that J. Dot Geek grew up listening to? Who I grew up listening to, like yeah, whether it be artists from New York, artists from I used to listen to wild people, bro. My mm -hmm. mom used to play shit like Jay Z and shit, mm. Otis and like shit like that, like yeah, Kanye. Got you. I be listening to wild. I was listening to wild rappers growing up, bro. Yeah, how do these people sound to you now? Cause I'm trying I know... to think who was my favorite rapper when I was younger, though, like because I definitely changed. Yeah, mm, I don't even know, bro, like. Got you. I, I won't even sit here and lie, bro. Like, a lot of niggas be lying, bro. Like, what you mean? I've been wanting to rap when I was a baby. Like, no, bro. I was like, I just was trying to find something to do. You know? I was not. Well, rapping is my dream when I was five. No, nigga. I was yeah. dancing before on a train and then try to play basketball. Yeah. It's like rapping is like the only shit I had. Like, it's like that's what chose me. Like, I didn't even choose that shit. That shit chose me. Like, no Got cap. you. Did you see someone actually? Was it, was it, like, now, before, before TJ made it, was y'all, was you rapping and all that, or? No. Oh, so, watching him make it probably inspired y'all, yeah. too. I did, for mm. sure. I was not rapping at all. Gotcha, gotcha. That nigga made one song, and that shit went skyrocket, so I saw that shit, I'm like, nah, what the fuck? One song is crazy. I'm like, nah. 
Yeah. Let me try this shit real quick. Let me try this shit real quick. Like, I feel you. That nigga, man, once that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that, that time of life, like that time, at that time, that shit was crazy. The way life was going on. Like. Bad, bad. Now we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. So freshman year comes around, you drop Geek. Yeah, you know my first song. Now, what was going on in your life at that time? And you was just like, all right, this is the moment. I'm about to drop this. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out my neighbor, my hood, bro. Like, my hood gave me a go push. Like, they, they on some chain. I like, you gotta, you gotta do so. You gotta do this shit, bro. Like, you nice with this shit. Like, you good. Like, yeah. you gotta make the video geek. You gotta make this shit fire. Like, yeah. they made me wanna do it more. Like, feel me? That's what's up. That's what's up. I always had confidence, but I was not like, feel me? I didn't wanna become no rapper, bro. Word to my mother, bro. Like, yeah. At first, when I really stamped that I wanted to be a rapper, I wanted to have her fame, bro. Like, everybody in the Bronx know me, everybody. It's way past that now, bro. Like, fuck that. What am I yeah. there? Like, yeah. it's way past that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, uh, what were some of the responses you got when you put the song out? Uh, whether good or bad, what were some yeah. things you was hearing? It was, I really didn't get a lot of bad responses, but you know I still got some. You, you always gonna have them haters on the side. Yeah. But niggas was with it, bro. Niggas was with it. Like, oh, some new rapper from Money Third, let's fuck with him, feel me? Yeah. TJ shared my shit, had OT people fucking with my shit. Fire. Gaining new followers, feel me? That's what's up. I'm just fucking with this shit. That's what's up. You know, I'm curious to know of all the songs that you uh, put out, um, like you said, from, from freshman year, starting to put out one, a song, and then to now, uh, what would be the song that you would say you're most proud of and, and why? The shit I'm most proud of? Yeah. Probably the shit with me and KR or probably Geek 5. Mmm. That and, and, and why? Shout out my, my nigga Kai Rich too. Word, word. Shout nah, out Kai. the shit with me and Kai Rich, it just show like, like, only I could see it though. That's the real shit. Like, it just show my improvement, how far I came, bro. Mm. Like, it just shows, bro. When I watch that shit, every time, every, t every, new, every time I watch it, it's like a new feeling. Every single time I watch my shit, like, it's a new feeling to it, like, gangster, yeah. bro. That's what's up. It just shows like how long I took to get to this point, bro. Absolutely, yo. How rewarding is it when you? Cause work niggas, bro, niggas make one song and they they know and they let you know how nigga I used to drop shit that had two K views, bro. Like yeah. One K, like nigga niggas don't know what ground mean, bro. I know what ground mean. Niggas yeah. do not know what that word mean. Yeah. Niggas make one song they let. It's not. It was not like that for me. You no know, yeah. gangster. Like, slow grind. Slow, slow grind. grind. That's the best. With yeah. Fabio said. The grind was great. What am I doing? Like, yeah. for me, I love the grind though. It's a great feeling though. For me, bad, bad. A lot of more new artists tapping in, artists that's successful already tapping in. For me, shit like that. Yeah. That's just for me. Who, who are some people that reached out? I want to know two things. Who are some people that reached out that you was like, oh snap, I didn't even know you was tapped in. Also, what are some places that you've seen all over the world that you like? That, yo, they know my music. Like, you know. Nah, one of them places definitely is Rhode Island. When I went wow. to Rhode Island, what am I with there? Yeah. When I went to, because Rhode Island, bro, like, what the fuck, yeah, bro? Like, yeah. gang stuff. I went to Rhode Island, they was wildin', like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you was on, you was on, on, on tour, right? Yeah, gang gotcha. stuff. How, yeah. how, was, how was that? Tell me the experience from. Nah, yeah, that shit was there. fire, bro. That yeah. shit was fire for me. Because I went on tour before, mm -hmm. but I didn't perform. Like, it wasn't up to for me. I went to tour with TJ, for me. Gotcha. But this tour, I was performing this shit. I got fans in the crowd of me. Like, for me, it's different feeling. Yeah. Like, it's different, like. Can't start jumping the crowd with my chain on all that. What am I done? No chain missing, none of that. You heard them like, right? <laughs> oh, um, what is it like? Like, what what is, what is TJ saying to you about like your success? Like, how does he feel about? Are you telling doing? me for me? Keep going and shit. Mm -hmm. He fucking with it. He like how, how I never stop. Like for me, absolutely. No matter what, like, absolutely. Niggas good for me. I never stop this. I'm never gonna stop this. Shit, like, mm -hmm. niggas can say everything. Like. Check out the worst drill rapper. You see, you see what the internet is doing. Jay yeah, nah, I'm gonna ask about that. I'm gonna ask about that. I still would never stop. What am I gonna do? How about people? Like, who who are some people that has reached out or reshared your music that you like? Oh snap! This person is tapped in. Like, that's crazy. Reshare my shit. Yeah, or even reached out. It's a lot of artists that for me fuck with me, bro. That I, for me successful. My for me, Ron Suno, Justin. You know Justin Robbie. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, Justin Robbie. That's what's up. Asian door popped up to my vet. Scarlet be showing me wild love. What am yeah. I gonna Shout out Scarlet, gangsta. Word, shout out Scarlet. Absolutely. She be sharing my shit all the time for me. The comment on my shit.